All right, what's up, everybody? We're live on NABA Television. You know who I am. I don't have to say my name on TV anymore. I'm live and direct here at Willow Run. That's right, Willow Run. Over here is Willow Run Airport. Behind me is the OGM plant. And um, most importantly, the reason why I'm out here today is because I'm at the I am at ground zero for the American Center for Mobility. That's right, the American Center for Mobility, ladies and gentlemen. This is the ground zero of where they will be developing. <clears throat> um, autonomous vehicle, this, uh, autonomous vehicle testing, autonomous vehicle, those are driverless vehicles. That's what they'll be testing right here. You could take a look across the street here, live on NABA TV. You could take a look across the street here, and you can see they're building a tunnel over there. Take a look. I don't know if I can get that over there. Hold on a second. See if I can just, yeah, we can switch it right there. You can see right there, ladies and gentlemen, they're building the tunnel right across the street here. That's part of that's part of the whole driverless vehicle piece right here. All this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is where they're developing. You can see the ramp over there they're developing. This is a project by the Michigan Economic Development Corporation with the American Center for Mobility. They're, they're in cahoots with the Michigan Strategic Fund. And there are a lot of players out here that's banking on this. Even President Trump has been out here to uh, to discuss this very important project. Uh, right here behind me is the old GM plant, Willow Run. Over there around the corner is Willow Run Airport. This is very strategic, ladies and gentlemen. Very strategic. And why is this very strategic? It's very strategic because this is the future of wealth globally. Let me say that one more time. This is the future of wealth globally. And people need to understand what we're talking about in the city of Inkster. When we're talking about connecting science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, we're trying to connect that industry right here to the American Center for Mobility. And the reason for that is because we need to be training our young people, young people in the community, about the importance of, <clears throat> of autonomous vehicle design and technology so that way we could get, so that way we won't be left out. These companies like uh, rider sharing companies like Uber and Lyft, they're going to be using driverless uh, technology. They're doing pilot programs in Pittsburgh and Phoenix, Arizona right now. They're going to be using uh, pilot programs for autonomous vehicles. This is not 20 years down the road, ladies and gentlemen. This is five years down the road. You can see it's quiet out here right now, ladies and gentlemen, but that's not going to be the case too much longer. I mean, black folks need to get on top of things like this. We need to be on top of technology, rebuilding communities with STEM, with STEAM. We need to be rebuilding our communities with science, technology, whether that's cybersecurity, autonomous vehicle design. We need a piece of the pie as well. This is a this is going to be a growing industry in the um, years to come. We don't have too we don't have a lot of time to be sitting here debating about what type of industry we need to bring into cities like Inkster, River Rouge, and Ecorse. They're showing it to you right here. Let me show, let me show it to you one more time. They're building tunnels. This road here, there's, um, this road down the street here was repaved and redone. All this right here is being developed right here for autonomous vehicle design and the reality is ladies and gentlemen when you talk about autonomous vehicles and you talk about cyber technology all uh, coming together as one that is a trillion dollar industry can you imagine cities uh, that are that are urban um, that are cash strapped tap into some tap into a a, a, um, a industry like this to really build and to see the thing about the Americans the thing about this right here with the American Center of Mobility the thing about this right here with autonomous vehicle is that we design it here in the US and we can take it anywhere around the world we can take it to sub-saharan Africa we can take it we can take it to sub-saharan Africa we can take it to the Caribbean we can take it to Europe we can take it anywhere on, on the planet earth but this is ground zero right here so what I'm just want to let people know out there who are watching this broadcast is that Please continue to support the National African Business Association as we support programs like this and developments like this right out here at Willow Run, Michigan, where we support this. And by the way, for those who don't know about Willow Run, this was the original, Willow Run Airport was the original site where they were building the bombers 
during World War II. Today is, a, is one of the largest cargo airports in the world, right here in the state of Michigan. I don't understand why we don't have um, cargo planes from Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa flying here to the United States where we can move goods and services in terms of international trade and development. So that's something else we could talk about at NABA. But what I'm saying is this ACM here, American Center for Mobility Driverless Vehicle, they're building it right now, ladies and gentlemen. My understanding is supposed to have it up and running um, sometime next month. We'll see what happens. Uh, but Ford, G GM, Chrysler, um, the community colleges are on board. A lot of stakeholders in this. Question is, where do black people? African Americans, African and Caribbean people, people of the diaspora, where will we fit into the American Center for Mobility, driverless vehicles, where do we fit in the future of technology? The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have time to be arguing about Democrat and Republican. We don't have time to argue about conservative and liberal. What we do have time for is how we redesign our communities as smart communities, cyber friendly communities and autonomous communities where we can train young people, put them to work and help them understand what the 21st century looks like today to prepare their inheritance for the 22nd century. So all I'm saying right now is this is ground zero where we at. Please continue to support the National African Business Association. Thank you.